Hey gang, we're going to take a quick look at uh, a few of the options under user preferences. So here I am in the Xactimate Control Center, and I'm going to go to this option here called User Preferences. And under User Preferences, I want to talk about base service charges. Okay, right here where it says Apply BSC, that stands for base service charges, and you've got three options here. You've got Yes, you've got Do Not Apply, and you've got factor into unit costs. So again, yes, do not apply and factor into unit costs. Now, what you choose here is largely going to be dependent on the guidelines from the insurance company, the carrier that is uh, that you're working for here. Okay, so what's going to happen is a claim company you're working for is going to tell you what you should do with regards to base service charges. We'll talk about that a little later on in class, but for right now I just want to uh, illustrate that there are some global choices you can make here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose do not apply. Do not apply base service charges. That's a very common setting. Uh, but let's take a quick look at what base service charges are. I'm going to go up to the top right here and I'm going to, I'm going to click on help. And right in here under topic I'm going to type in base service charges and I'm going to search for that and here is an option here under training topics called base service charges page now <clears throat> base service charges window displays the base service charges the line item contained in the estimate you can see this window by clicking blah 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 okay Xactimate uses base service charges for most priceless labor categories the base service charge assumption covers such items as travel planning and mobilization Base service charges help ensure that the unit price will cover these expenses for all jobs. When you print an, an estimate, Xactimate adds the amount of the base service charge for each labor category. You can choose how base service charges affect the estimate in the window by clicking the trades apply cell, then clicking the drop down button. You can choose yes, factor in, or do not apply. And we're going to take a quick look at that in a minute. So uh, I'm going to close this out. So just so you understand, Xactimate uses base service charges to add additional monies for things like uh, travel planning mobilization. Okay, uh, that would include stuff like uh, zip into uh, Home Depot for you know a uh, few miscellaneous uh, items that were missed and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm closing this out. So I've I've done some uh, global uh, settings here, and then I'm going to go up to the dashboard again under Control Center. And start any new project. I'll call this. Uh, I'll call this one um, Smith underscore um, Jim. This is an estimate for claimant named Jim Smith. And uh, just open this up. I'll go to Sketch. I'll add a room for Mr. Smith. And I'll go to estimate items. And in that room, I'll, oh heck, I'll just, uh, I'll add some items in there out of the macro. So, so here I am. I've got, uh, got some items in this room, mostly having to do with, uh, carpet. Looks like a scenario I grabbed here is a scenario based on water damage. And you'll note that I'm under the Estimate Items tab here, and I'm in the Items option, but I've also got this Base Service Charges option. I click on that. You'll see that I've got a whole bunch of uh, trades here. Uh, carpenter, Finish, Trim, and Cabinetry, uh, Cleaning Technician, Demolition, installation, uh, Insulation, and the like, and they all have Do Not Apply for Base Service Charges. Now, if I choose yes for one of these, okay, you'll see that Xactimate automatically decided that I needed two hours at a rate of 56.61 for uh, finished carpentry, in addition to the estimate I've already written. So it base service charges added uh, some additional funds here. Now I can choose all of these guys. Uh, a little trick for this is uh, Control A both together. See they're all highlighted. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose apply base service charges to all of them. 
see all right yes all the way across and that added uh, to this small little estimate a total of eight hundred sixteen dollars and four cents using this price list okay so what I've done here I'm gonna minimize this for just a moment okay uh, we have looked at how to do a global setting of base service charges right here under user preferences what that's going to do is going to set base service charges at yes do not apply or factor into unit costs for any estimate that's opened after you've set this default okay and I've also shown how to uh, tweak base service charges in an estimate once you have an estimate open okay so come on get up there there it is okay so and that again was under estimate items and under the base service charges now the last thing I'm going to do is show you what this will look like in the report itself so I'm going up to print all right added some waste because I was dealing with carpet I'm going to view and this is going to be a print preview of the estimate I've just created and you'll see that uh, there's an adjustment for base service charges here it's a continuation from the previous page so you see base service charges here adjustment for base service charges it actually adds it to the report itself all right that's it